Day Z, one of those games with no end. And that's the beauty of it. You can travel about on your own at little adventures, whether that be of banditry, heroism, or something in between. The story is yours, just going about doing your own thing. And I'm feeling a bit out of touch. It's been a while since I really got into the nitty gritty of DayZ, the grind, your everlasting fight for survival. And yes, I've been posting DayZ videos recently, but the majority have been more guides or exploring ideas than any actual gameplay. I think what I'm trying to say is I want to challenge myself again. I want to get my hands dirty. So what better way than to complete the game? But how do you complete a game with no end? Well, lucky for us, on the 14th of June, 13 achievements were added to DayZ. And by no means do these achievements represent the full DayZ experience, but they do give us a goal. And in a game where you can define your own ending, this is my ending, completing every achievement in DayZ. So without further ado, it was about time I got back into the rhythm of things, cause boy was I rusty. <laughs> Alright, oh, Xeno spawn. I can work with this spawn. I'd rather have an electro one. Spawn as a man, so this will do. A Barazino spawn. Not ideal, but good enough. See, one slight deal I hadn't quite told you yet was I was trying to complete these 13 achievements as quick as possible. A speedrun as such. And some of these achievements required a lot of player interaction. I theorised that Electro would be the best for this, but both Cherno and Barazino should work just as well. We can separate these achievements into three categories. Ones that were easy enough that they just naturally happen, such as bodily needs, geared, act of mercy, baby face, pacify and a lobotomy. Then we had achievements that required a little bit of luck, we had to find certain things to achieve them. Here we have Field Cook, I'm a Fire Starter and Natural Instincts. Then we had the hardest four, those that required other players. We have Marksman, Heal the World, we have the Right and finally Close and Personal. I figured these would take the longest so I wanted to expose myself to high population areas at all times. Lucky for me, I just spawned in as a male, something I needed to get the baby face achievement, which required me to shave my face once my character had developed a beard. In the meantime, I could get on with some of the easier achievements. So the first thing we need to do is try and get the geared, geared uh, achievement. Do a crypt, to firearm, melee weapon, backpack. Shouldn't be too difficult. Straight off the bat. Handcuffs, that'll be useful for later. I'll take the keys. Ammo. A melee weapon. Okay, someone's around here. Who's in here? Hey man, can you help me out? Hey, what's going on? Um, I'm trying to get the uh, the achievements and I need to handcuff someone 10 times. I've got a pair of handcuffs. Right. you able to help me with that? Yeah, it doesn't suck. I've also got a gun so I can just shoot you. See, I've got my first achievement. The challenge was already beginning to show its difficulties. Getting people to comply with the handcuffing achievement was going to be near impossible. But putting that to one side, I just got the Act of Mercy achievement. So why not go for another 20 zombie kills and try to get the lobotomy achievement? Oh, we're back in bars, you know. Try to head back to where we died. I was swarmed by zombies, a rookie mistake I know, but with another Barazino spawn, I wasted no time getting back into the game. Hit the fire station first. There's a gun there. Oh, and backpack. We just need a melee weapon now. Hopefully I can find a fire up. Been through here and killed these. When I was in town then, probably had my shots. Jump. At these garages. All I needed a melee weapon. But if I drink from that well, I should get another achievement. Why did someone lock that? Here, dead player. 
He's had some stuff. Did have. Did this. Now went. Alright, does this give us an achievement? Maybe this doesn't count as drinking. Eventually. I know, we got it. Hardly needs. A lot of these zombies have bags. This is an official server, so it's a bit strange. Yeah, broom. That's got to count, surely. It's a melee weapon. Right, we've got geared. I was beginning to build some momentum and it felt good. I only needed 5 more headshots for lobotomy and I figured I could get the pacifier achievement pretty easy if I could just find an infected soldier. So on my little quest, I found myself heading up to Upper Barazino. Let's see if we can find a military zombie. Basically nothing. No military zombie, so I think we'll have to head to the camp. A dead zombie here. There's a player somewhere. From what I could gather, some old bugger had beaten me to everything. But to be honest, I was getting a bit peckish, and with the sun beginning to set, I took that as my cue to log off and take a break. I'll try and look again in an hour or so. Where the fuck am I? I'd found myself lost, forgetting about the one small feature of official servers. If you swap to another server, while well, you retain your character, you are spawned in another random location. I am somebody where I want to be. This is not ideal, because being where we are right now is not going to be too close to a bunch of people. My character's already been alive for quite a while, so I don't want to kill them. Because ideally, I need to be on the coast, right? So I can get into melee fights to get the... Uh, Get the close and personal achievement which requires me to kill 15 survivors with melee weapons and i also need to get applied bandages to other survivors and also handcuff 10 people um we could probably get those two two banged out if we find one guy who's willing to help us the killing players is going to be the hardest because it's like we can't really find someone to help us kill but we have to find people so that's just going to be killing as much as you guys probably aren't going to like it killing fresh ones or or fresh-ish people like if we find somebody here we're probably going to get killed but we can do the other achievements here. We can try and get the uh, pacify to kill an infected soldier. They should spawn over at the other end of the airfield, I think. If not, there's a military base not too far away. We also need to find a road flare, which is one of military locations. Have a look for that here. And we need that for Firestar. That's probably gonna be the hardest item in the challenge to find. Honestly, the, the achievements aren't that hard. Some of them are just a bit weird. Do some ammo with my gun. Okay, that's perfect. Get a hunting scope on that. Uh, we're in business. We've got four bullets and we need five headshots. So we're just going to keep this and try and uh, get the sniper challenge. 300 meter shot. I really don't know how we're going to do that one. Or we'll set. We'll just camp a well, I think, is the best option for that. Really homing for a road flare. With no road flare or military zombie, I decided to try my luck at the PD. If I could just find some ammo, I could quickly get five more zombie headshots, earning me the lobotomy achievement. And lucky for me, it had just begun to rain, which I was going to try to use to mask the sound of any gunshots. That. Will be and I have some ammo for that. Leave four bullets. Here we go, this is what we needed, a Glock. Okay, we've got enough to do with the headshot ones now. There we go, we've got it. With another achievement under my belt, I headed over to the secret military base in hopes of finding an infected soldier. Right, here it is. I can't remember this place spawn zombies. We can hear a deer. And there's a military zombie. I oh, know it's a hunting zombie. The deer's this way. Uh, 
effect. Does this count as a deer? No deer? Fair deer. About to find out. Yes. Best bit as well. We're heading to the castle. Cook the food because the roof will be tall enough. Hopefully no one comes up and shoots me. Sitting around a campfire, I could almost catch a break and begin to appreciate the pace of this challenge. I was sitting at just under half the achievements in 1 hour, 2 minutes and 6 seconds, moments away from getting a field quick achievement and knowing I wasn't too far off achieving babyface and pacify, I had high hopes, although I was expecting the rest of the achievements to be rather more challenging. So I used this time to formulate a plan, I had to log off and wait for daybreak, where I'd then travel east back towards Barazino in search for a hunting scope. This would drastically help me in the marksman achievement. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one, but in this time, my character did develop a beard, yes. which I immediately shaved off to earn myself the babyface achievement. And after checking Barazino for some players, I called it quits. See, on official servers, you could have both a character on first person servers and another on the third. I figured that I could just leave my character logged off in Barazino with the sniper on the first person servers and jump onto the third person servers to attempt the 15 melee kill achievements. Hey man. Hey. Come in for me. Hey. Hey man. Bro. Whoa, whoa. I'm so aggressive. Come on, just give me a melee weapon. Yes. Best one we could have asked for. <laughs> no, I thought. Hey man! Oh. That's the thing, they just respawn. I wasn't one to complain. I was actually making really good progress on the close and personal achievement, although it did dawn on me that I was probably ruining a lot of fresh spawns experiences. But don't you worry, I was getting my fair share of karma. In fact, I died so many times in Cherno over the next hour that I called it quits. This time I respawned and found myself in Solnichi, a pleasant relief. Oh, hey man. Hey. Hello. We are in trouble. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies. There's somebody on the roof. Fucking idiot. Stop wiggling. Stop wiggling. Why did you try and tie me up? Stop wiggling. Oh. He's a cannibal as well. He just tried to tie me up and. <laughs> oh my god! You're crazy! What just happened? I'm assuming they were friends. Oh, Road Flare, I needed that. Cool. They both, they had matches as well. Get yeah, another achievement. We should get the achievement now. Yep, there we go. That was worryingly too easy. I mean, come on, the guy accidentally tied himself up and then happened to have everything I needed to finish the fire starter achievement. So, with my newfound gear, I then headed to Barazino, where I bumped into one of the friendliest survivors. Guy there. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. How you doing, man? Just on a zombie yeah. hand. 
I've got uh, I've got some nails if you want to put them in the bat like I have. Oh, that would be nice. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you? Um, it's going to sound really suspicious, but I'm uh, I'm trying to get the achievement where you handcuff ten people. Handcuff. Like I've got guns with ammo. Like if I want to. Oh come on, up, it's a game. I could it, I could it. Do you want to do that? If you could help me, that would be amazing. Once again, once again, I trust you. Come on. Just wriggle out. I know. Just just wriggle out. The only one I have. Uh, how? Oh, uh, Q and Q and E. Yeah, I try to. I try to. It'll break off in a second. Thank you. Okay. Man. Is it is it ruined? I don't know. I'm not bleeding or anything. No. Uh, is the uh, is the duct tape ruined? How can I check it? Um, just drop it on the floor. I'll have a look. It looks ruined, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it is ruined. Ah. You um, do you need like a gun or uh, or anything? You can have a little spare weapon. You can have. Thank you very much. For your help. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you again. You too, man. Have a nice That's game. Good, good luck on your adventure. Cheers. <laughs> you too. Thank you. Thank you. What a nice man. I mean, I could have just killed him to get a step closer to my 15 kills, but I didn't have the heart. He was obviously new to the game, and it was clear to me now that the majority of players on official servers were. It was why I kept getting such easy kills, and it makes sense the majority of established players prefer community or modded servers, myself included. And if you're new to any game, an official server looks like the best place to start. This almost made me rethink my approach to the challenge. So after getting absolutely slaughtered in Barazino by a group of bandits who'd based in PD, and I mean absolutely obliterated, like this Chad just wallbanged like it was nothing. Bad play to him, just fucked me up. I took a step back, I'd been dying over and over again in the city and I had nothing to show for it apart from two sneaky melee kills I managed to scrounge. I decided the best approach was just to hop servers. This one was carnage, and in the process of server hopping, it actually spawned my character relatively close to Dubrovka military checkpoint. So I decided to quickly pick up the pacifier achievement before I'd respawn. Let's see what Bayazino has got stuck for us on this server. Hey, Ooh. what's up, buddy? Hey. Fresh one like me, huh? You gonna be able to help me out with something, would you? Yeah, what's up, mate? I'm uh, I'm trying to get the achievements of like handcuff and ten people. Can I just like handcuff you and then uh, then like you can wriggle? Yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Thank you ever so much. Ah, uh, no, you're the first person I've actually seen in a server. Really? I just hopped on. Let me try this again. See if it see if it counts. Twice. Where did where did you die at? Uh, over by the police station. Oh, you should be able to get your stuff back then. Yeah, I didn't have much. Um, if you want, there, I had two guns actually, if you want one of them. Yeah, the police station's that way. This way. Alright. Are you, uh, are you new to Daisy? Uh, I, I've had the game for a long time, I just never played it because I never had anybody to play it with. I was killed the zombie, someone else is here. Hello? Here, I got you. Uh, they're gonna fuck me up. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> My bad. You haven't abandoned you? Are you sure it's even worth it? Yeah, you're... you're a bad person. Oh, we got him, we got him. Making him for the <laughs> yeah. yeah, kill that, kill that fucker. Bandage yourself up, and uh, maybe you could just kill me, and I'll run back. Okay, yeah, that's the plan. But, uh... Bandage yourself yeah, though; you're bleeding. Before I, you I'm kill me, before you kill me. I'm out of bandages. Yeah, I can cut this t-shirt up for a second. Did he get you to low health? Yeah, I'm I'm yellow, so it'd probably be just better off if I die and then just respawn. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, I can kill you quickly. And also like super dehydrated and whatnot. How many times can I bandage this guy? I'll get you. Thank you. I do the same. 
It's for the achievements. It's a nice guy, dude. I, I'm, not, I'm red one flashing. Maybe I'll respawn close. I actually spawned right back here. Hello! How are you doing? It's you! <laughs> I died. I uh, I ran out of blood. Oh, I spawned fuck. right next you. to you. What are the chances? <laughs> what are the, hey, listen. I won't complain about that. Right. Before I go into some dramatic dialogue about the statistical odds of spawning next to him, did that guy just fart? Oh. I won't complain about that. I'm in Stitches editing this right now. Mine just dropped a bomb on me, shamelessly. But in all honesty, I felt like Daisy was trying to tell me something here. The guy was new to the game and I'd just been given yet another opportunity to go on an adventure with him. It would be rude to turn it down. This would significantly slow the pace down of my speedrun, but to be honest, that's not what Daisy is about. The true Daisy experience is made up of these adventures, so that's what I'm bloody gonna do. I was adding it to my achievement list. So, for the next hour, that's exactly what I did. I relaxed and enjoyed sharing this Daisy experience. Obviously, I took every opportunity to bandage him whenever he cut himself, slowly edging myself towards the hill of the world achievement. Thanks, but he managed to get his original gear back, explore Barazino, gear up, and I even managed to teach him a few things. To my surprise, he was really keen to chase some shots. Unfortunately, I lost track of him in the firefight, but I like to think he made it out alive. I searched around for a bit, but eventually I had to cut my losses and give up. However, I now had this more open approach to the challenge. I didn't have to just brutally murder everything and everyone. And that was about to be the recipe for just pure perfection. He's got a sledgehammer. See, I'm not gonna beat him. E. Hey, what's up, man? There's two. This, it's a crew. That guy looks like he don't trust us. I don't think he does. He doesn't. That's just rude. Dude, there are guys there. What? There's another guy there. I should just beat him up instead. Okay, fine. No, try to sound more like a girl. Hey! That's it. You got it. Where'd he go? I, don't know. I feel like he went into this uh, building here. This military one. Yeah, he's here in front of me. In front of me. He's a melee weapon. You know what? Sometimes you ask and you shall receive. Hey, buddy! Hey, you're bleeding, man. Let me help you. Let me bandage you up. The medic. My medic. I wouldn't trust him. He seems dodgy. I'm a medic. I'm a medic. Oh, he punched you, dude. He what punched is, I'm gonna, the medic. I'm gonna smash your fucking head in with a wrench, little rat. That's a war crime. Wait, why is this zombie targeting me? Can I bandage you up as a medic? Okay. I'm a good medic. Oh man, I feel much better. Thank where's you. That little, where's that little fucking shit gun? Let's go to the PD. He's trialing right now. He's sweating with his boys. He's like, give me on a PD. We got a shotgun. I'm gonna kill this guy. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Word for word. Well, I know you're in that police station, mate. Yeah, we know you, you're in there. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. I don't really have anything, so I don't really care. Well, you talk now. Wait, are you a different guy? Or are you the war criminal? Well, how'd you lock this door? Right behind you, bud. Did you just kill him? Ah, I don't even this know where guy. he is. I think he just shot. He just shot somebody else. Someone died. Yeah, I heard him drop. You know you're fucked, man. You are so fucked. Single load that thing. Oh yeah. Run, bitch! He's bleeding. Do you need a medic? Yeah, he is. Bleeding twice. We've got him. That's not good. That's a lot of bleeds, dude. You ain't gonna make it. You know that. No idea where these guys have gone. Hey, buddy. There's no need for that. There's a man with an MP5 in town. 
Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I don't have anything. Can I come out? Uh, door is locked, mate. Oh, it's stuck. Bibbidi top. Wow, I'm gonna die. I don't have any food. Yeah, I need food too. There's a there's a body here. I heard you like bodies. Yeah, I killed a guy in the apartment with a shotgun. You would want that, maybe. And you ate him? Yeah, I killed this guy on top of the apartments. Was that you? Peekaboo! Uh, you, uh, messed up my door. If you go get a gun, and then you go get some food, let's team up. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die before I told... that. Oh. Well, maybe we need to kill somebody. Eat them. There, you know. there was two people earlier. I'm gonna jump. I really like that freshborn guy. He has some good energy. Unfortunately, I lost him in the chase of the mountain backpack bandit. So, considering that I was starving, I respawned. I messed about in Barazino for 30 ish minutes, but to be honest, I just ended up getting my ass beat with an EpiPen. However, I once again found myself in Cherno, and I was about to run into a familiar character. Hello. Hey. Me no harm. Move along. I mean, move along. Saying you don't want these problems, bitch. That is the cringiest thing I've ever fucking heard. What problems? Come give me them. You don't want these problems, man. Move along. Oh. Don't want these problems. There's a guy in China with a foul and an AK and a plate carrier. Go fight him. Fucking care, dumb motherfucker. <laughs> what? Ooh, what's up? Your shoes are about to break. No, they're not, bitch. Yo, calm down, man. Calm down. Can you raise that thing at me? Motherfucker, you know that? Yeah, your mother. She loves it as well. Put the gun down. Oh! Who's the motherfucker now? There's the MP5. I knew you had one. You're the guy from earlier. What did you do to my friend? Oh yeah, melee, come on. <sighs> Motherfucker. Give me those problems. You don't want these problems. You don't want these problems. Bitch. <sighs> I don't even have enough bandages to save myself. He had a whole ass gun or jammed. What he should have done. And then so he kept running on that and then popped one in my head. <laughs> Do it myself. Don't want these problems. I wish I could have seen his reaction. That was one angry man. Admittedly, I was egging him on. However, I was now one kill closer to the close and personal achievement. So I decided to make that my main focus. And after a lucky spawn in Solnitchi, I was able to bandage this guy handcuff him without him noticing, steal his sledgehammer, and brutally murder a freshborn. You know, just the usual. I did let him go though, I felt bad. Other than that, I was able to pick up yet another easy sledgehammer kill on an unsuspecting player in Barazino, before finally earning the achievement by absolutely smashing another poor freshborn skill in at Cherno Military. Yeah, we got it, finally, Jesus. All I had left to do was snipe one player from 300 meters away, bandage 18 more players and handcuff 5 more survivors. If I wanted to get this done in any respectable time, I was going to have to play dirty, so that's exactly what I did. I resorted to deception. I managed to team up with a survivor and then tie him up while he was distracted. I then repeatedly sliced him and bandaged him, although he eventually caught on to what I was doing and logged out so it would kill his character. Did this log out? This got me 5 bandages and 1 handcuff. I did the same thing on a group of three. 
guys, um, you can um, speak. Um, This time, it gained me two handcuffs and eight bandages. I felt terrible, but I did what I had to do. I decided to leave all the loot in hopes they'd return and respawn. This was going to be the last character I'd need to complete these achievements, and it was going to be one wild life. Oh, someone's shot. Hello? Why are you just aiming at the door with... What the?! You're a dirty little camper. <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm friendly. I'm with you. There's a guy with a sh Okay, okay. okay. There's one guy. He's he's got a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, did you did you snipe the other guy? Like when I opened the door. Open the door. All right. I killed one. Yeah, you did. You killed one. Stop at the door. I think he's on the right side. Open the door, man. Please open it's the locked, door. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Hurry up, man. I just can't. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Give me the pick. Oh fuck. Oh, I killed him. What is going on? You guys were just camping in here. Fuck, I Don't move or I'll kill you. Don't move or I'll kill you. Do you understand? Don't move or I'll kill you. Wriggle, a, wriggle again and I'll kill you. I banded you now. I banded you now. I banded you. Stay. This man, I... this man, this man. Fuck. Bandit? You're bandaged. Kill bandit. Fuck. He's dead. Do you yes. have friends? I am I. This man. Do you Call have me. friend? So I I, I I revenge for for him. Like follow him. What are you on about? Fuck. Talk. Oh shit. How am I so geared? A beautiful snowball which landed me with an M4 with a six times scope. I could for sure land a sniper kill from over 300 meters with this, and I knew just a place to camp. After 45 minutes, my opportunity finally came. Oh, I see a guy, an actual guy. Oh. I got him. Fuck off! 
11 meters. That's how far off I was from getting that achievement. I was gutted, just only if the guy had walked away from the shots rather than towards them. Lucky for me, another opportunity presented itself shortly later. I got it. Now all I had to do was hank off two more players and banjo them five times. So I hopped into a daytime server and went searching for a player to offer them a deal they couldn't refuse. Two fresh ones. Oh, is that your friend aiming at me? No, we're just two <laughs> random people. Yeah, there's two need... people in here, but we don't have any guns. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really friendly. I just need help with an achievement. <coughs> no, 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 you can put your hands down. I need you to do something for me now. What do you need? L load this magazine up for me. Yeah, um, I was following this guy, but um, he, he snuck behind me because I saw you too, so I ran over to you. On this back? <laughs> yeah, please. Just watch out from the window. Oh. You can hear him outside. What are the chances um, of anyone having any food? Yeah, I have food. You, got, you guys can actually have my stuff, I just need help with one thing. So I'm trying to do the daisy achievements and to, to complete it all I need to do is tie up two more people or one of you two times and bandage five other people. We'll just cut you and bandage you each three or two times. You guys, you guys mind me doing that? Yeah, yeah, that's fine with me. Thank you. I'm just going to tie you up. You can re you can like wriggle out as soon as I'm done. Gotta tie your yellow hat up. Just wriggle out. Right, I've got the achievement. Yeah, I can actually free you myself. Do you guys mind if I cut you? Just let me know if your health gets low. I've got a bandage you can cut me. I've got band I need to bandage you myself. If your health gets low, let me okay. know. Okay. Do you guys know each other or are you on adventure? I'm gonna cut you two times yellow hat. You guys can have my stuff. Yeah, have one. Like the this guy saying? How have you met this guy? I don't know, I just met this guy. Nice. Nice. <laughs> right, this should be the last one. Oh, I've got all the achievements. Here, take this. Yeah, take this. Be careful, because the guy, there was a good guy who was shooting at me. But that's probably him, so you're probably alright. Thank you ever so much. Wait! Rude. You have ammo now, you idiot. Mate. Good luck on your adventures. <laughs>